I've been there. Wait, what is this? Tate on sparkling water? CobraTate.com. Achieve competency with money, women, and fitness. I can't go through my life without getting angry. One dude orders sushi. Some other dude scared of bubbles. Pussy ass dudes. Bro, these dudes are so fucking weird all the time, dude. These dudes are so weird. Like, I don't understand how anyone can like look at this guy and go, that's the guy I want advice from. We are filming in my cigar lounge. It's not yet complete. But this is a room in my house that's going to be specifically for cigars. It's a cigar lounge. We've got oak on the walls. We've got very expensive liquors. Not that I can tell the. Wait, where is he from? What? Is he Baltimore? Is he South Philly? Or what? What is that accent? They live in Romania, but like, what's, what's going on? My brother thinks they are pimps. Probably. The difference, like whiskey, I bought a thousand dollar bottle, bought a $20 dollar bottle, tasted the same to me, but that's what you do in your $20 bottle. What? Where is he from? He's a British American kickboxer, commentator and businessman as a kickboxer. He was born in Washington, DC. He fought out of Luton, England until his reti retirement. He made his return to the KO Masters in Bucharest, Romania, where he currently resides. That's why he keeps saying bull. You're rich. I got cigar lounge in my house because I'm a G. And that's going to lead on to the following point that how the he has a cigar lounge in his house because he's a G. Oh, yuck. The only water I drink is sparkling water because sparkling water is for rich people. And I'll tell you why. You can get non carbonated water. Still water from the fucking tap. The government gives you that shit effectively for free. Sparkling water you have to buy. So if you only drink sparkling water, you only drink rich man's water. Bro, you, you don't need to see anything else to, to recognize that like kickboxing creates so much CTE. Other than homie right here, he is so stupid. He is so stupid. It's, it's awesome. Also, 0% chance he's like a fucking multimillionaire. I don't believe that. If he was a multimillionaire, he would not be living in Romania. Sorry to all the homies living in Romania, but like motherfuckers like this make a hundred grand and then your money goes a lot longer of a way in a country like Romania. So they just like fucking fly out there to do illegal shit. Okay. And then they're like, oh, I'm so fucking rich. I'm so rich. It's like, no. No, you, you, you wouldn't be there if that was the case. Okay, you'd be staying in the fucking UK uh, where shit's hella expensive. I explained this to someone, some bumba club, and of course he replied with the typical book, but I don't like sparkling. You don't like sparkling water? You don't like water? Yeah, but the bubbles. The bubbles? Wait, is he trying to make bubbly water come, more, come across more alpha? First of all, I hate soda. So like I am, I mean, I love sodas, right? I love fucking, you know, Diet Coke and, and Mountain Dew and stuff like that. But I hate like soda water. I think sparkling water is gross. It just like is bitter. It doesn't feel refreshing when I drink it. You know what I mean? And I don't understand. Like it's, it's very like, it's like kind of fancy too. It's like, oh, you want sparkling water? Oh, look at me. Oh, the big guy wants sparkling water, right? And so I don't know how he took that like fancy, uh, fancy schmancy thing and is like turning it into like real manly alpha masculine thing, you know, bubbles. Uh, I want my bubbly water. Uh, that's, that's actually, that's actually very masculine. Uh, whereas like pff, real water, normal water, lame. You can get that from the tap. Real men drink sparkling water. You scared of bubbles, you little bitch? It doesn't taste of anything. It has bubbles in it. Oh, you're afraid of bubbles? Fuck is wrong with you? This is another full grown man. Fucking some other bitch. Just told you about how to fucking, I'm sitting. I can't go through my life without getting angry. I, I've, I've got to meet people, business associates, etc. I go there. One dude orders sushi. Some other dude's scared of bubbles. Like if, if a waiter comes over and goes, what water for the table? A sparkling, please. 
I obviously answer because I'm the fucking boss. And then some little fucking bitch, oh, um, uh, can I have a still? The fuck, just drink the water on the table. You're a fucking man. You're just- Bro, he is so insecure, dude. It's like, it's like coming out of every orifice, dude. The insecurity just jumped out. Um, yeah, we're waiting. Okay, we have people ready when you are. Uh, Austin is here, but Ethan is not, and I don't think Sky Blue is coming. So, I, I don't, I'm waiting on Ethan. Uh, I just texted him. So we can start, uh, me and Austin can just start doing chat advice. We haven't done it in a long ass time. After this uh, episode is over. Start making the waiter run back and forth and change water orders because you can't handle bubbles. Pussy ass dudes. You should only drink sparkling water anyways because it's what aristocrats like myself drink. The Lord of all beasts of the land and fishes of the sea. We drink sparkling water and you should want to be like me because I'm a better person than you. So in every single possible tiny way you can emulate the great. I can't tell if he's memeing or not. It's like very strange. Okay, Ethan's coming. He's going to be a little late. I can't, I can't tell if this is satire or not. Andrew Tate, you should be doing the same things. Don't order sushi, drink sparkling water. But even if you are such a bitch, you won't choose sparkling water. When it's given to you, just water. fucking drink it. If I see a man, if you ever meet a man who's afraid of sparkling water, know this. He's certainly afraid of combat. He's certainly <laughs> I think it is. They had him on your mom's house. Who is Randy? Don't bring anyone loving to drink this sparkling water. Because yes. Sparkling water is for rich people. Yes. And I'll tell you why. Only because of you guys. Non carbonated yeah. water, still water. From comments that Natasha. Oh, they had him on? Oh, okay. oh dear. It's come to my attention that I have ended up on your mom's house podcast i've already learned from the comments that natasha has already cheated on the dude and he took her back because people are already saying why are you mentioning cheating when your girl fucked another guy what okay never I mean, he's no accusing moshe kashner i guess this is another comedian that no one gives a shit about i've never said it <laughs> gosh yeah. why why do you look like that wait w does he not realize how he looks i don't understand he has no chin either you can't be making fun of, at least that dude's funny, bro. You're a man. You know, like, because you can, you know, go to the gym and put on some muscle mass. You don't have to look like that. Mm -hmm. That's a choice. Well, I think Moshe's very handsome. I, 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 I think he's actually, he's they're both Body very comedy. attractive yeah. people. And he's a comedian. Wait, that, hold up. He actually went on the podcast? I got to see this. I got to see. Dudes who look like Q-tips love calling other people soy. Okay, okay, hold up. Show me the actual sure, podcast where he's admiring. on. Like, I actually have some pretty great headshots with my... Joel, I have thoughts and opinions in her job. Yeah, shut Joel, the, bullshit, fuck, shut the up. fuck up. Have kids, Dumb sit bitch. at home, be quiet, make coffee. Yeah. And, and it makes everybody happier <laughs> yep. in the long run. It's good <laughs> right. for everyone. I, I don't know how this is but, even controversial anymore. Right, it's but, but Cobra, might I interject that if women were truly happy doing that for so long, maybe this whole women's lib thing, how did that come about? That's a psyop from the New World Order. They are deliberately trying to turn women against men. They have to divide the peasants. That's the only way they, the elites can retain control. They turn the blacks against the whites, the Democrats oh. against the Republicans, the women against the men. It's all a PSYOP and they do it purposefully. Listen, a revolution- I can't tell if he's like faking this, if this is satire, is it a bit? Or is he still actually, he's acting, right? Like he's definitely acting here. Revolution is nothing more than men standing in one place and saying this shit has to change. The reason there's no revolution, despite the absolute tyranny we experience here in the Western world, is because most men aren't allowed out, out the house because their wife will get mad at them. You have to be home at 10 o'clock. Come home. Yeah. You're not allowed out. Well, what, what about the kids? Uh, should he be home? Sure, sure, you should be home for your kids. But my point is, you're not going to feel like a king or feel brave enough to go and re rebel against a new world order if right. you don't even feel in charge of your own house. That's, if you're not a king in your that. own house, then how are you a king anywhere else, right? And, and the law is set up in a way in the Don't Western world. Like that. The law is set up in a way in the Western world where men have absolutely zero power. Most men <laughs> are. Yo, that's true. Fellas, you know what I'm saying? I'm always saying this. This is like, I'm always thinking this. I'm always saying this. It's just like, 
You know who's powerless in modern uh, Western civilization? Fucking men, dude. Yeah. This guy is extremely divorced, right? I, I suspect he has like, he's on his seventh at this point. Like he has the most divorce court energy. What the fuck? Are clinically depressed, working jobs they hate for in sexless marriages. And they know they can't leave because they lose the house and they lose the kids and they lose everything else. So they don't have time to be concerned with anything. There you have it. There you have it. Homie said divorce is the worst thing. It's not a victimless crime. And divorce is what shackles men. Bro, he is so incredibly divorced, dude. Actually oh my God. The they keep us divided mm. and distracted. And empowering females is the easiest way to weaken the will of men. Mm. What happened when, you con when the Romans conquered the Greeks? The first thing they did was kill all the fighting age males. And we live in a world now where they are deliberately killing the fighting age males. They're killing the spirit, the warrior spirit inside of men. And they're doing that by motivating men, sorry, motivating females and empowering them to the point where they're going to sit there and go, you know what? I'm a feminist. You can't tell me what to do. I'm allowed to go out with my friends. He's just my friend. I'm allowed to sleep at his house and drink vodka. Oh, I only suck. Oh my God. Oh, what? Homie, that sounds like a you thing, bro. That's like, I don't think that's commonplace, brother. That's like, that sounds incredibly personal, dude. That is way too specific. Yeah, I'm sick and tired of this. And then, you know, sometimes they bring back a Nintendo Switch and I'm playing on the Nintendo Switch and they say, hey, actually, you can only play for it for 15 minutes because my boyfriend needs to get it back from you. And you're like, well, what the fuck? I deserve to play for an, at least an hour. That's how long your wife's boyfriend fucked uh, your wife. <laughs> if he says Nintendo Switch, I will, I'll, I'll, I'll stop watching this. Fuck this dick, what's the problem? You know what, fine, we get a divorce, I'm taking the fucking house. Yeah. It's bullshit. Yeah. Yep. How do you feel about women serving in the military and stuff like that? I think that's the biggest mistake a female could possibly make. Why the fuck would you do that? Yeah. One, 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 you're shit at it. Yeah. Yeah. That's the first thing. Yeah. Yeah. Like any, anyone who's out here who's actually been through something as I have knows that when the fight goes down, you need the women protected in a way. You don't need the screaming in your ear. Right. So there's yeah. shit at it. Mm -hmm. That's the first thing. And the second thing, it's, it's part of the psyop. They're, they're mm. masculine. In the Western world, they're trying to turn females masculine. It's not an accident. None of this is an accident. All of this is done very, very purposefully. And it's to, it's to destroy the will of... Dude, imagine being so cucked, for the record. <coughs> I'm sorry, but you're bitch made, bro. If you are letting women dominate you this hard, you're a bitch. Sorry. You know, you're, you're fucking soy, you're beta, you're a cuck, you're bitch made. Not me. Okay. Not I. But like, for real, it's like, he is, he's saying that like women are both, it's the classic fucking, my enemy is both powerless, but also the most powerful and insidious and scary, but also incredibly powerless and fragile and uh, shouldn't actually be able to dominate me, but they dominate me all the time. That's what he's doing, where it's like, women are both like, feminine, don't have any power, they're awful, but they also then dominate over men, and, and destroy men. Okay, got it. Uh, w which one is it, bro? You can't have it both ways. Of man. <laughs> Two separate people said the same thing at the same time. This man 100% enjoys getting pegged. This dude loves getting pegged 100%. Yeah, I mean, for sure. The problem is, though, that he likes getting pegged, but he somehow thinks it, like, makes him lesser of a man. And that's the issue. And that is, like, what he wants and, and, uh, and what he can't admit is the reason why he's the way he is. The reason I feel compelled to say the things I say and do the things I do, etc., cetera, is because I live in a country where there is no femme-centric government that's going to come and destroy me. And also in my relationships with females, there's no woman telling me, Andrew, just Email. put your mask on. Andrew, just be quiet. <laughs> Andrew, it's late. Don't lose your job. Andrew, the kids, blah, blah, blah. They're just, they're just sucking men down so, the, the pit. So, so hold yep. on. Do you mean to tell me that Cobra Tate will not be married, will not be tamed? It's not about being tamed or married. I, I don't believe in marriage in terms of an institution, not because I am against the idea of loving a woman, but I'm so anti-government. I don't want them to have anything to do with me, especially where my dick goes. So mm. fuck them. 
Yeah. So I refuse to sign the piece of paper because I just don't want to deal with governments more. Okay. So, so there won't be a Mrs. Cobra Tate. You, but... no, if I, listen, if I meet a woman and I and point. Yeah, you. you. She's Mrs. Cobra Tate. Yeah. yeah. I don't need the government to give me any kind of fucking approval. Have you met a woman yet that you go, you Mrs. Mean, that's Cobra. all I fucking do. We talk wow. about. I'm just pump, pump, wow. pump. You got a sister, bitch? Bump. Bump. Wow. Like, what the, you think I'm That happened. Yeah, definitely. That's happening all the time, for sure. He's definitely constantly like, you got a sister, bitch. And then the woman's like, oh, Cobra Tate. Yeah, you're such a great guy. I want you to fuck my sister, too. <laughs> playing games? Do you, do you, you think ever, I'm playing games? Do you ever worry that... <laughs> Someone's like, God, he's so bald. <laughs> See? Bald guy? Very cool. Uh... Good kind of bald, bad kind of bald. It's the difference between a manlet and a short king, okay? It's the attitude. Uh, a woman wow. just uh, is with you for the wrong reasons, and therefore, yeah. do you ever hide how successful you are? You know what I mean? Like, just to see, like, what happens when, like, the Lambo's in the, in the garage. And... It, it, that's a good question, and, and I think you have to look at it under a different frame. Okay. If, if she's... Bro, this guy is perfect because, like, fellas, no need for chat advice. I take it back. Straight up, look at everything this dude is doing and do exactly the opposite, okay? Automatically, you are successful. Automatically, you will uh, immediately, you will have, you will be the girlfriend haver, okay? Just look at everything he's doing, the way he conducts himself, and then do the exact opposite, okay? The exact opposite. If she's only with me because I am tall, strong, rich, and successful, mm -hmm. and smart, and, in and interesting, and charismatic, and only. humble, and funny, yeah. and funny. Yep. If she's only with me for those things, and I'm only with her because she's beautiful and shuts the fuck up, who's more shallow? Um, Truth. You. So who cares? Right. Right. Wait. So wait. What? Wait. 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 Hold on. What? I'm not gonna wait. be gone. Um, and I'm only with her and only. humble and funny yeah. and funny. Yep. If she's only with me for those things and mm. I'm only with her because she's beautiful and shuts the fuck up. Mm. Who's more shallow? Um, Truth. You. So who cares? Right. Bro, this is a oh God. It doesn't get it quite literally does not get more divorced than this man. Okay, that's it. 